Next on BGSU Brain Game, it is finale time. We started off with 28 teams. It's down to two. You better get ready for a bodacious brain brawl. It is Crestview versus St. Francis. Knights versus Knights. Once more into the breach, dear friends. Once more, Brain Game, the finale starts right now. Welcome to BGSU Brain Game, the finale, Crestview versus St. Francis. Let's meet our teams. Starting with St. Francis, tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Justin Dries, a sophomore. To my left is Luke Terrell, a junior. To my right is Frank Schuster, a senior. And we are coached by Mrs. Haley Sharp. All right, welcome to St. Francis. Crestview, tell us who you are. My name is Sam. I'm a sophomore. To my left is Levi, a junior. To my right is Drew, another junior and we were coached by Shelby Miller, who could not be here tonight. All right, and who's subbing in for her tonight? Um, uh, Mr. Dave Bowen, our principal. All right, welcome to Crestview and St. Francis. Going to start this finale as we always do with the toss-up round. In this round, there are 10 questions. They are worth 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer, so you can be a little bit looser on your buzzers. You may confer before buzzing in, and you can, I repeat, you can steal a question in this round. Crestview, St. Francis, are you ready? Here we go. Identify the anatomical term that begins with the letter P, which designates the hollow at the back of the knee. That would be Crestview. Sam. Patella. Incorrect. St. Francis, would you like to steal? That would be Justin. Flam. Incorrect. The popliteal. Before he left home, who did Odysseus charge with the care of his household, including the role of teacher and overseer for his son, Telemachus? That would be St. Francis. Justin. Eurymachus. Incorrect. Crestview, would you like to steal? That would be Drew. His wife. Incorrect. He charged mentor with that. Mentor. Established by Congress in 1862, which executive department of the U.S. strives to ensure reasonable prices for both farmers, that would be St. Francis, Justin. Commerce. Incorrect. And both farmers and private consumers. Crestview, would you like to steal? That would be Sam. The Department of Agriculture. Correct. A feature of total and annular solar eclipses, this phenomenon is sometimes called the diamond ring effect. What is the scientific name of this visual feature named after the scientist who explained it in 1836? That would be St. Francis. Frank. Uh, Perillion. Incorrect. Crespi, you do have an opportunity to steal here if you'd like. That would be Drew. Refraction. Incorrect. We were looking for Bailey's beads is what we needed for that one. Polynesia, Melanesia, and Micronesia, which include Hawaii, Guam, and the Marshall Islands, are all divisions of which island group of the Central and South Pacific Ocean? That would be Justin. Oceania. Oceania is correct. Identify the U.S. president nicknamed his accidency, and that would be St. Francis. Justin. Tyler. Tyler is correct. What two-word phrase is used in chemistry to describe any substance that reacts chemically to remove oxygen or add hydrogen to other substances, excuse me, to another substance? That would be St. Francis, Justin. Reducing agent. Correct. When a bus stops suddenly and the passenger's bodies lean forward, that would be St. Francis, Justin. Inertia. Inertia is what we're looking for. What property of matter is demonstrated? Give the eight-letter verb beginning with the letter U. That means to move smoothly in a wave-like manner. That would be St. Francis, Frank. Undulate. We will accept that, yes. The most common form of this breaking down process is rust. 
Ident that would be St. Francis, Frank. Oxidation. Incorrect. Identify the term that begins with the letter C for this destruction of metals that, that would be Crestview, Sam. Corrosion. Corrosion is what we were looking for in that one, yes. That is the end of the toss-up round in this finale. Let's take a look at our score. We have Crestview with 20, St. Francis at 50 points. You're gonna wanna stick around because our risk and reward round is coming up next. Stay tuned. We're here with Crestview now. This is Principal Bowen, who has been subbing for Coach Miller this entire season. Let's get let's give Coach Miller a little bit of a shout out, can we? Yeah, absolutely. She set the tone with this team, and they won the Northwest Conference earlier in the season. And we're excited to be here. Wish she could be here, uh, but she's unable to due to some health issues. So I've been subbing in, and the kids have been doing a great job. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game, the finale. First round is in the books. Crestview, 20 points. St. Francis, 50 points. As we get ready to move to our risk and reward round. Before we do that, though, looks like Crestview has a substitution. Sam, tell us who has joined your team. To my right is Karis, a senior. All right, welcome to you and to all of our returning players. St. Francis has chosen to stay with their lineup from the last round. This is the risk and reward round. Both teams, you will receive the same nine questions. They are worth 10 points apiece, no deduction for an incorrect answer. The 10th question is our risk and reward question. You can risk up to 30 points and five point increments on that question. If you get it right, bonus points. You get it wrong, a deduction for that question alone. If you don't like the topic, you can simply pass. St. Francis, since you were at 50 points, you will be sticking around, that means Crestview, off to isolation, you go. All right, St. Francis, are you ready for your risk and reward round? Yes, we are. Here we go. As one of the leading American generals in World War II, he accepted the Japanese surrender aboard the battleship Missouri in 1945. Identify this military man famous for his statement, I shall return. That would be Justin. MacArthur. MacArthur is correct. True or false? Mexico shares a border with Honduras. That's false. false. That would be Justin. False. False. Belize and Guatemala border Mexico. In Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, what was the last name of Romeo's family? Capulet? No. Montague. Montague. That would be Justin. Montague. Correct. Multiple choice, what instrument did Albert Einstein play? A, drums, B, saxophone, or C, violin? C. C. That would be Justin. C. C is correct, the violin. Which 11-letter word begins, that begins with an E designates an influential person's confirmation of support given to a product or political candidate? That would be Justin. Endorsement. Endorsement is correct. Jane Goodall studied what African primate creatures? Chimpanzee. That would be Justin. Chimpanzee. Correct. Complete the analogy related to animals. Copperhead is to reptile as merganser is to blank. Mammal. That would be Justin. Mammal. Incorrect, they're birds. Multiple choice again. Australia is derived from the Latin word for what? A, big land, B, southern, or C, desert. That would be Justin. B. B is correct, southern. What type of graphic representation is most effective when the goal is to demonstrate how a part is related to a whole? Pie chart. That would be Justin. Pie chart? Pie chart, yes. Risk and reward time. You have the opportunity to risk up to 30 points on this topic. Elements. 30. 30 points, they say. All right, here we go. Among the chemical elements, which synthetic one in column seven is named after a Danish nuclear physicist and has the atomic number of 107? Curium. 
time. That would be Borium. Borium is what we needed there. Unfortunately, that is negative 30 points for you, St. Francis, but you still stand at 100 points at the end of the risk and reward round. And that is the end of the round for you. It is now time for you to head off to isolation. All right, let's bring back in Crestview. Welcome back, Crestview. I hope that isolation was everything uh, you hoped and dreamed it would be. Are you ready for your risk and reward round? Yes. Here we go. As one of the leading American generals in World War II, he accepted the Japanese surrender aboard the battleship Missouri in 1945. Identify this military man famous for his statement, I shall return. That would be Sam. MacArthur. MacArthur is correct. True or false, Mexico shares a border with Honduras. That would be Sam. True. False. It's actually Belize and Guatemala at the border in the south from Mexico. In Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, what was the last name of Romeo's family? That would be Sam. Montague. Montague is correct. Multiple choice time. What instrument did Albert Einstein play? Was it A, drums, B, saxophone, or C, the violin? That would be Crestview Sam. Violin. The violin, C, is correct. Which 11-letter word beginning with an E designates an influential person's confirmation of support given to a product or political candidate? Sam. Endorsement. Endorsement is indeed what we were looking for. Jane Goodall studied what African primate creatures? Gorilla. That would be Crestview Levi. Ape. Incorrect. Chimpanzees is what we needed specifically there. Complete the analogy related to animals. Copperhead is to reptile as merganser is to blank. That would be Sam. Fish. Incorrect birds. Multiple choice again. Australia is derived from the Latin word for what? A, big land, B, southern, or C, desert. Sam. Southern. B, southern is correct. What type of graphic representation is most effective when the goal is to demonstrate how a part is related to a whole? Crestview Sam. Pie chart. Pie chart. Yes, that's what we were looking for. Risk and reward time. The topic is elements. Does Crestview want to risk up to 30 points in five point increments or pass? We are going to pass. Going to pass on the elements. That then ends your risk and reward round. It is now time to clear our scores and let's bring back in St. Francis. Welcome back to St. Francis and Crestview. Let's see where we stand. St. Francis stands at 100 points. Crestview stands at 80 points. A very close competition indeed. You're going to want to stick around. This finale is just getting started. Our next round is our category round where questions can be worth up to 30 points apiece and deductions start. Stay tuned. We are here with St. Francis coach, Coach Sharp. A few questions for you. Do you uh, encourage more um, uh, talking back and forth or conferring before buzzing in in those, in those rounds where there's deductions? Absolutely. So my guys always know that if they know for sure and they know it without a doubt to buzz in and answer, if not, they should always be conferring with each other and making sure. Um, but in play like this, it also is dependent on how the other team is buzzing. Um, it's important that their strategy on how fast they're hitting the buzzers and getting into a rhythm that helps their brains keep you know, getting things quicker. So the quicker I can get them to continue hitting the buzzer is good um, to get them to keep their recall. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game, the finale. Crestview, 80 points. St. Francis, 100 points. 
Looks like we have some substitutions going into our next round. Let's see who has joined the team. St. Francis, tell us who has joined your team. To my left is Jordan Easton, freshman. All right, welcome to you. Crestview, who has joined your team? To my right is Megan Fail, a senior. All right, welcome to both of our new players and our returning players. This is the category round. This is where the power shifts now a little bit to you, our teams. There are six categories to choose from with questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points. Uh, but I must warn you, deductions start now. So if you go for 15, you're actually risking 15 points as well. There is a double or nothing question hiding somewhere in there. Could be a game changer. You may confer before buzzing in, and you may steal a question in this round. Crestview, St. Francis, are you ready for this? All right. Crestview, since you are at 80 points, you get to make the first selection. Pop culture, 15. Pop culture for 15 points. Name the 2023 Oscar-winning film for Best Picture, which stars Michelle Yeoh, as that would be St. Francis. Justin. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Correct. St. Francis takes control. Chemistry for 30. Chemistry for 30 points. Identify each of the following terms from chemistry. The first letter of each correct response is given. An organic molecule that has only single carbon-carbon bonds. The letter is A. Time alkane is what we needed there. St. Francis in control. Chemistry for 25. Chemistry for 25 points. The measure of randomness or disorder, that would be St. Francis Frank. Entropy. Entropy is what we needed there, correct. St. Francis in control. Chemistry for 20. Chemistry for 20 points. This is the double or nothing question. During a chemical reaction, a solid separates from a liquid. What is the solid that would be St. Francis, Justin? Precipitate. Precipitate is correct. St. Francis in control, stepping on the gas. World of math for 30. World of math for 30 points. Ancient mathematician of Alexandria who wrote the elements. That would be St. Francis, Justin. Euclid. Euclid is correct. St. Francis in control. World of math for 25. World of math for 25 points. Complete the statement related to squares with the name of a polygon. A square is a quadrilateral, a rectangle, a parallelogram, and a bl That would be St. Francis Jordan. Rhombus. Rhombus is correct. St. Francis still in control. World of math for 20. World of math for 20 points. Complete the mathematical analogy. X is to abscissa as Y is to blank. Ordinate is what we needed there. Ordinate. St. Francis is in control. Uh, can we get kings and queens for 30? Kings and queens for 30 points. The last czar of Russia. Crestview, Sam. Nikolai II. Nicholas II, correct. Crestview in control. We'll take kings and queens for 20. Kings and queens for 20 points. Here is a French Revolution question. What French king was put to death? That would be St. Francis Frank. King Louis XVI. The 16th is correct. St. Francis snatches back control. 25 in the same category. Kings and queens for 25 now. She ruled Russia from, that would be St. Francis Frank. Catherine the Great. Catherine the Great. There's one and only, and it is Catherine, and she is great. St. Francis in control. Oceans for 30. Oceans for 30 points. What do we call the process by which salt is removed from, that would be Crestview, Levi. Desalinization. Desalinization is correct. Crestview takes back control. Oceans 25. Oceans now for 25 points. Which ocean contains the most volcanoes? Crestview, Sam. Pacific. Pacific is correct. Crestview fighting back, in control. Oceans 20. Oceans now for 20 points. The Sargosso Sea is unlike any other sea in that it has no land boundaries. In what ocean? That would be St. Francis, Justin. Atlantic. The Atlantic Ocean is where the Sargosso Sea is, and St. Francis takes back control. CL for 20. CL for 20 points. 
Based on the given definition, identify each vocabulary word that begins with the letters CL. The bone that connects the breast, that would be Crestview, Sam. Clavicle. Clavicle is correct. Crestview in control. Begins with CL 25. Begins with CL for 25 points. The amount of influence or symbolic pull a person, that would be St. Francis, Frank. Clout. Clout is what we needed there, yes. St. Francis back in control. World of math for 15. World of math for 15 points. What is the product of the number of days in a week multiplied by the number of days in September? That would be St. Francis. Justin. 210. 210 is correct. St. Francis in control. World of math for 10. World of math now for 10 points, finishing off this category. Area of a square with a perimeter of 20 feet. That would be St. Francis Jordan. 25. We need more. Square feet. Square feet, yes. St. Francis in control. Chemistry terms for 15. Chemistry terms for 15. The negative electrode, C. That would be St. Francis Frank. Cathode. Cathode is correct. St. Francis in control. Uh, chemistry terms for 10. Chemistry terms for 10 points, finishing off this category. A substance that impedes a chemical reaction, the letter is I. That would be Crestview Levi. Inhibitor. Inhibitor is correct. Crestview takes back control. Kings and Queens 15. Kings and Queens for 15. End of this round. Let's take a look at our score. We have Crestview with 195. St. Francis currently, currently in the lead with 365 points. But it's not over yet. Coming up next is our brainstorm round. Every question, every question worth 20 points apiece, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. Still anybody's game. Stay tuned. Crestview, you're going into the final round now. You're trailing. What do you say to your team? Just hang in there. Uh, do what we've done all year long. Now's not the time to change who we are. Just be solid, be confident, and let the chips fall where they may. Going into the final round now, Coach, you're ahead. What do you tell your team? I would say continue being quick on the buzzer, but maybe in this situation, maybe even reserve a little bit. I don't want them to get too um, you know, buzzer happy and then start answering questions um, and get ahead of themselves and maybe start answering poorly. So it's about keeping the humility and knowing that if we're up, let's make sure that we're still keep being level-headed. If we're down, continuing to do that because in both of those situations, you can lose valuable points. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Crestview, 195 points. St. Francis, 365 points as we get ready to enter the final round of this finale. Before we do, some more substitutions. Let's check in. St. Francis, tell us who has joined the team. To my left is Bryson Richards, a senior. All right, Crestview, who has joined the team? To my right is Saxon Short, a uh, sophomore. All right, welcome to both of our new players and our returning players. This is it the final round the brainstorm round all questions in this round are 20 points apiece negative 20 points for an incorrect answer you may confer before buzzing in but no stealing i repeat no stealing in this round saint francis crestview are you ready brainstorm round final round in the finale starts right now which German inventor created the world's first functional printing press? That would be Crestview Sam. Gutenberg. Gutenberg is correct. Identify the musical family that includes both gongs and, that would be Crestview Sam. Percussion. Percussion is correct. In which current U.S. state were the first battles of the American Revolution? That would be Crestview Sam. Massachusetts. Massachusetts is correct. Among the 50 states, according to the 2020 U.S. Census, which one is the least populous? That would be St. Francis, Justin. Wyoming. Wyoming is correct. Starts with a K, Korean pickled cabbage. That would be St. Francis, Frank. Kimchi. Kimchi is correct. This mythological son of Hermes was a crafty thief who stole livestock from his neighbors. Name him.
time. Atakles is what we needed there. What color was Anne's hair in Anne of Green Gables' series of novels? Time, it was red. What do we call an equilateral rectangle? That would be Crestview, Sam. Uh, a triangle. Incorrect, it's a square. In what state would one find Pike's Peak? That would be St. Francis, Justin. Colorado. Colorado is correct. In what eastern state can you find the Green Mountains? That would be St. Francis, Justin. Vermont. Vermont is correct. Sugar is manufactured in plant cells by what process? That would be St. Francis, Justin. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is correct. How many neutrons does the chemical element helium have in? That would be St. Francis, Frank. Two. Two is correct. Among the many inventions of this famed inventor was the phonograph invented in 18, that would be Crestview, Sam. Edison. Edison is correct. In a game of pool, what color is the ball numbered one? That would be St. Francis, Frank. Yellow? It is indeed yellow. To what family of musical instruments does a euphonium belong? That would be Crestview, Sam. Brass. Brass is correct. Oedipus killed his father and married his mother. What was her name? That would be St. Francis, Frank. Laertes? Incorrect, Jocasta. End of round. Let's take a look at our score. Crestview came back fighting with 275 points, but it wasn't quite enough because St. Francis is our winner with 485 points. Let's give both these teams a big round of applause. In the spirit of good sportsmanship, let's come out, meet in the middle, and shake hands. Everyone, come on out. I want to thank all of our viewers this season and a big thank you to the Brain Game team. We couldn't do it without you. See you next season. What do you want to say about your team and about your season? Well, what I love most about my guys is that they're always um, they're always just kind, and that's what I preach to them, is that no matter whether you win or lose, you're always going to be excited for the other team. There's always going to be, um, you know, camaraderie with the other teams. This has been a great experience. Uh, we've not made it to the finals of the BGU brain game competition. We are excited to be here. It's been an outstanding season, regardless of winning or losing. This is icing on the cake at this point in time. Really proud of the kids. Hey, we gave it all our all and uh, came in with confidence, played tough, but got beat by a better team. Crazy that this, the year is coming to an end here in a couple weeks, but also just exciting for them that they, they closed out on a high. Congratulations to the St. Francis Knights, the 2022-2023 BGSU Brain Game Champions.